Nate Diaz has a little bad taste in his mouth right now. Nate he's, Diaz, I love Nate, but he's yeah. always got a bad taste in his mouth. Yeah, he's 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 ineligible because he's going through a lawsuit. Uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that. Right. Well, he he said that he felt underpromoted by the UFC, and he's been bashing them of late. And Nate. <laughs> I heard you made seven or more million dollars on your last fight. I don't want to hear you complaining about being underpromoted by the UFC. You should be thanking the UFC and bowing to Dana White every time you see him. Ari Emanuel, Patrick Whitesell. You've got seven or more million dollars gross before taxes, maybe much more, which I love knowing that you have, Nate. Please, I don't want to hear any complaints. Do you think we'll ever see the, the trilogy, Diaz versus McGregor? I think we all want to see it, but you know what? I don't think we can make determinations about anything until we see what happens with Khabib and and Connor. Yeah. I mean, this is a big fight. I don't think in front of my guns. I think behind my guns. Let's right. see what happens. Sure. And then the marketing brains of the UFC will put together what the best thing is for the fans.